What is going on guys welcome back to python tips and tricks tutorial series in today's video we're going to learn about merging dictionaries in python so let us get right into it now in python we have multiple ways to merge dictionaries let's say we have a dictionary one and this dictionary has the key a and a has the value one for example and then we have uh, the key b and b has the value seven for example then we have a second dictionary dic2 and here we also have the key b but with a different value, let's say four. And then we have C and some other number eight. So those are the two dictionaries and we want to merge them together into one final dictionary. And this dictionary should either be a one B seven C eight or a one B four C eight, depending on which B we're going to take. Uh, sometimes we can, uh, we can decide by, by stating the right order. And sometimes it's just random. We're going to talk about that in a second. And the first way that we're going to learn about um, when it comes to merging dictionaries is the so-called update method. Now, before we get into that, let me show you that it's not as simple as just saying dict1 plus dict2. This would work maybe in libraries like NumPy, but it doesn't work in core Python. We cannot use the operand type uh, for, for plus for addition with dictionaries. So, we cannot just add dictionaries together. So what we do instead is we say dict one dot update dict two. What happens then is we take dictionary one and then update it with the values key and keys and values from dictionary two, which means that first of all, of course, we add the C that is missing in dictionary one, but we also update the value of B. So instead of seven, B is now going to be four since we updated with the second dictionary. Um, Actually, we would need to print that and also let me just clear the console. So print dictionary one. And as you can see, we get B4. Now, of course, I can do it the other way around as well. I can say dictionary two dot update and then I can just update it using dictionary one. But then, of course, I have to print dictionary two and we get uh, B7. Now the order is not that important. We have keys, we have values. It doesn't matter which uh, position, uh, at which position these keys are, uh, these key value pairs are. Um, the only problem, or actually not a problem, but the only thing that you need to keep in mind with this method is that you're actually changing dictionary one and two. You cannot say dictionary three equals dictionary one dot update. So it doesn't work like that. You cannot just uh, combine them and then return a new dictionary. You actually change dictionary one or dictionary two. So uh, this is one thing that you might not want. You might want to keep dictionary one and dictionary two the way they are, but still combine them into a new separate dictionary. And this does not work with the update method. Now, if we actually want to merge these two dictionaries and create a third one, a new one, we can actually use the keyword arguments operator. And this is essentially just two stars. And we can use those two stars, this keywords argument operator to pass dictionaries into a dictionary. So it would work somewhat like that. You would say dict three or dict merge, whatever. And then you would create a dictionary, but instead of passing key value pairs, you pass dictionary one and two, but you don't just pass them like this dict one, dict two, because that would not work. Let's see what happens if we run that. Uh, we get unhashable type dict. Um, this is because we cannot just pass whole dictionaries. What we need to pass here are key value pairs. And in order to get the key value pairs, in order to be able to pass dictionary, or the key value pairs off the dictionary, we need to use the keyword arguments operator. So those two stars here and here, which essentially means we're creating a new dictionary with the items of dictionary one and the items of dictionary two, essentially. And then let's go ahead and print, print dict three to see the results for that. A quick console clear. And there you go. You can see we have a one B four C eight. Uh, now, if you want to have the other order, you can just swap these two because the first one gets added first and the second one gets added last, obviously, or a second, uh, which means that if you first add dictionary one, you get B7, but then you add dictionary two. So you're basically updating it, so to say, and you end up with uh, B equals four or the key is B and the value is four. So if you want to reverse that, you just say dictionary two, dictionary one, and then you will end up with B equals seven. So uh, you can do it like that. And this is how you merge dictionaries using the keywords argument operator. 
So last but not least, I want to show you a method that is very modern, very new, and it's only available in Python 3.9 or above or newer versions, basically. Uh, it is not possible in Python 3.8. It's not possible in Python 3.7, 3.6 or something, only in Python 3.9 or above. The only problem is I'm not running Python 3.9, so I'm not going to be able to execute the script. However, the code is very simple. You can do it on your computer if you have Python 3.9 installed. If not, I'm going to show you a similar way that you can use, but this is actually the most modern way. It's very simple because Python 3.9 introduced a merging operator. So what we need to do here is we just say dig3 equals, and now the only thing that we need to do in order to merge dictionary one and dictionary two is we say dict one, merging operator, dict two. That's it. In Python 3.9, we would get the exact same result that we had um, before. Now, when I run this in Python, I'm not sure what I'm running here, 3.8 or 3.7. Uh, when I run this, I get dictionary and dictionary is not uh, possible for this operator. Um, however, there's also another operator in Python 3.9 that we can use, and this is the update operator. So instead of using the update method, we can use the update operator and it's essentially dict1. Again, the merging operator with the equal sign dict2. So this would be dict1 update dict2. In Python 3.9, we cannot use that here. So even if I comment that out, this is also not possible here. Actually, because it's an invalid syntax in general. So it's not only not applicable to dictionaries, it doesn't even know what that is. So those are the Python 3.9 things. And now I'm going to show you a method that also works in older Python versions. Uh, uses the same operator, but in a different way. We essentially just say dict3 equals, and now we say dict, so we're typecasting, and we're typecasting the items from dictionary one merged with the items from dictionary two. Now, the interesting thing about that is that we have no clue what dictionary we're going to end up with. So if we do that, everything can happen. I'm going to clear the screen here. I'm going to run this and you can see now we have B7 uh, instead of B4, but now I can run this again. We have B4, we have B4, we have B7. It's every time random. Like there are certain things in computer science, uh, especially when you when you're into C program into C programming, you know that uh, you cannot be sure what's going to happen with some statements. And this is one of those. You don't know what dictionary you're going to end up with. It's basically random, or you just have to to go and see what happens. So it's undefined, so to say. Um, if you don't have a problem with that, you can use that. Otherwise, I would use either update or the keyword argument operator or use Python 9 with those new operators here. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comments section down below. Also, make sure you subscribe to this channel in order to see more future videos for free. And if you don't want to miss any video, click on the notification bell and activate the notifications for this channel. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.